we talk to documentary filmmakers here, one of the things we talk about most is establishing trust with your subjects. Um, you had uh, not only a, a wide range of, of subjects, but a, a pretty substan substantial crew as well. Uh, what was the process like in terms of, of proving to, to all of your collaborators that I am the person who should be telling the story? I think being from the beginning with them in these harsh conditions proved it al already itself that I am their person and I can be trusted because I've been in the same danger, in the same harsh conditions of cold weather, of all these beatings, of all these bullets flying over our heads. So I think this was already given element for them to give me their trust. How long did it take you and, and, and the, the, the filmmakers that you were working with to, how long did it take everyone to realize that you were there and this was, this was something that was being documented as it was happening? What, did, what, was it something that happened right away or, or did it slowly sort of trickle uh, through, throughout the, the square? You know what, it's actually a couple of days from uh, my arrival because he, again, nobody was expecting situation to happen in the middle of night. Mm -hmm. And then when it's happened, the situation started to kind of uh, grow and it became already a movement, it became already a part of the history that happening in front of our eyes. So we realized that we need to document and be here and tell this story to people across the globe. So I think from the first days of November. And, and people were generally cooperative. This was something that they, did you sense any sort of tension of being someone there with a camera documenting everything? No, you know what, it was a lot of camera people here. It was a lot of people with the cameras who were trying to document, professionals and non-professionals. Every person in our days who have digital camcorder, cell phone, iPad, or even professional camera, they trying to capture the moment. So professionals, non-professionals started to capture this from the first days. And this is how we kind of grow our team around me. And this is how a lot of people voluntarily came with a lot of footage because they wanted to share their stories they are stories that they captured in different moments of the movement. And this is how this fascinating crew of 28 filmmakers came across me. And we all together, same unity, same togetherness, like the movement, we all together created this fascinating project. And as you're putting together this footage after the fact, um, I imagine that there is a that there is an alternate establishment propaganda version of what happened here. W were there certain myths or mischaracterizations that you wanted to dispel in your version of the story? You know what, I tried to portray it as it was actually. Mm -hmm. And working with the local people, working with the local crew, working with the local editor the, at the beginning when I was assembling the first draft card, working with the local filmmakers, I was trying to document history, not try to create a scripted version of something. For me, the most important thing was as it happened, because I've been there, and it's for them, it's a history that needs to be documented. So as a filmmaker, I try to stay true to the fact that how we shot it.